What's up friends and welcome to the video. I am going to Louisville to visit friends and train at the KH gym, Katie Hearn's gym, if you've heard of that. Uh, explore some food options. Gonna be a great trip. I'm super pumped. And yeah, right now it is Thursday. I am waiting to check in for my flight right now um, because I'm really bad at that. And if I don't sit here, like I have an alarm set and specifically do it. You know, if you fly Southwest, you can check in 24 hours before, then I'll just completely miss it. And I'll be in like C group, which is really sad because then you have to sit in the middle of people. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter to me when I'm flying alone, I'll sit anywhere, but I just try to stay on top of it. So I'm waiting to check in for my flight. Um, I still have to pack. I still have to paint my toenails, uh, self tan, exfoliate before I self tan, take an Epsom salt before I exfoliate, an Epsom salt bath before I exfoliate because uh, if you've been keeping up with me, you know my hamstring is uh, not in a good spot. So I'm not currently doing any leg training and I go to the chiropractor every week on Thursdays. So I went earlier today and I would just like to take an Epsom salt bath today because I'm not going to be taking one over the weekend. Epsom salt just um, helps. I tried to research it. I don't really understand how it works, but it does help with like the pain and healing and everything. So my plan right now is to check in, do the Epsom salt bath, then exfoliate in the shower, then do my self tan um, and let that sit while I pack. So I figured I would do a quick intro for this video before I just get to rocking and rolling on all this stuff. And yeah, I'll let you know how the self tan turns out. Um, if you watch my Ulta haul, then you've already seen the product, but basically it's just Ulta brand self tanner and you put it on for one, two or three hours and then you rinse it off and it will further develop overnight. So here's to my first self tan experience. Stay tuned and I will get you the next clip. Okay, what's up? I just wanted to give a quick update um, we're all self tanned. I don't know how well you can see, but it is developing nicely. Um, honestly, like this brings me back to freaking show day feels. Let's like literally so tan and it makes you feel so lean. Like, oh, there's obliques, right? I don't know if you can even tell in this video. It's like I, <laughs> yeah. That's what a nice spray tan can do for you. So anyway, I just wanted to say that it is developing nicely. I'm leaving it on for three hours and then I'm going to um, shower for the night and it's supposed to develop even more overnight. So hopefully I wake up just super bronzed. But I also wanted to say, if you watched my Ulta haul, um, you saw that I got this new Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer and I'm like very impressed with it. Okay, I don't, like, I said in that video, like, I'm a greasy girl, and but I kind of don't want to look like a chalkboard anymore. You know, I like a good matte look, but now I'm kind of being more open-minded to, like, looking dewy. Also, just excuse my hair. It's very dirty. It's up in a ballerina bun since I self-tanned, and, like, my curlies are going everywhere. But I just wanted to show that, like, I've only blotted my face once today, and, like, this does not look that bad at all. Like, seriously. So, I just want to say, the wear test, this uh, Stila is killing it. Um, I used a bunch of new other new products today as well, which I guess I could show you the new ones that I tried. So I used that, this lighting, I'm sorry, the bathroom is just not... Okay, um, so I used that Stila foundation. I used the concealer with it for my blemishes, and then I used the new Tarte Creaseless to highlight. I will say this is a lot thicker than Tarte Shape Tape, so it's. I got a little scared to like put it on and like move it around. You know what I'm saying? But I honestly think like I think it looks so good. Like you can. I feel like I've look more highlighted now than I did with the Shape Tape, and that might be because I just didn't have a light enough shade, but. Like I said, if you watched my old haul, you saw me get this new stuff. And then at the end, I used this Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And I seriously, I knew it. I knew when I was doing that um, Ulta haul, I was like, yo, all these products are going to take my makeup game and just bring it to a whole new level. And I feel like it really held up. The only thing is today I did go to the chiropractor and I had to like <laughs> lay face down, you know, on like the paper that touches your face. So my mascara and like eye stuff got kind of screwed up. Um, but 
yeah, I just like feel feel really good about those purchases. So I figured I would come on here and do an update with spray tan and the makeup, all things girly. Um, I got everything packed back there, checked in for my flight, um, been in touch with coach. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make dinner now and then shower for the night and just kind of chill and get ready for tomorrow. I'm so excited. So with that being said, I will catch you tomorrow. All right, friends, today is the day that I lose my Pazuki virginity. Okay, if you don't know what a Pazuki is, it's basically a combination of the words pizza and cookie, but it's really just a cookie in a skillet. And BJ's Brew House is a restaurant that is known for these. And I have been waiting literal years to have one of these said Pazukis. So tonight it's happening yes you're gonna witness it but i just want to say it is friday it is 11 55 i'm leaving here in ooh 20 minutes i got more time than i thought but i just wanted to come on here and say you know hair is washed everything is packed i gotta zip that bad boy up and make sure that shit's not gonna fly around um and yeah i got everything ready to go swooped in on the balance launch balance athletica um so excited for that and yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update before I head to the airport. Um, got a really annoying layover in Chicago, but you know what? I think I chose not a direct flight because A, there weren't any left, and or B, it was cheaper. Which doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Travel on a budget. It's possible. There's always a way. So yes, we are off to Chicago. And then Louisville, and I'm so excited! I also get to meet my literal twin for the first time ever. Her name is Melissa. We both have brown hair. We had the same show date. We have the same coach. We have the same mind, the same digestion. We are literally, it's actually incredible how weirdly similar we are. So I am super pumped for that too. And then also I get to meet up with my friend Whitney who came up uh, or came in for my show last fall, and then we went to LA together in January. So we haven't seen each other since January, besides like FaceTime, you know. But she has a heart of gold, and I'm just so excited to travel and have some free time. And yep, there's my update. So I don't really know where I'm gonna be the next time you see me, but I will see you there. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the self tan, it did very well. It didn't streak. I was able to get my whole back. There's no patches. There's Literally, like, I have zero complaints. And that, um, that self-tan, I'll show it to you. It's this one from Ulta. It has coconut water in it, so it leaves your skin, like, super hydrated. That way you don't dry out and, like, the spray tan doesn't get, or the self-tan doesn't get weird. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a little update on that. I'll show you my leggies. Like, yeah, you might not be able to tell, but we're looking, we're looking bronze. I still, I got a little, okay, the reason this is darker is because I screwed up my sunscreen and so that's actually a sunburn <laughs> underneath. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely darker than I was. I feel like that's a very affordable and actually doable process. I'm very pleased. I have no complaints. I was worried about my back because, you know, flexibility and stuff, but it worked. <laughs> There's Whitney. <laughs> we have made it to Louisville. And I just want to say that my two flights have further substantiated the fact that I have zero desire to procreate. Because on both of those flights, there were screaming children. First one sat right behind me, just beat the shit out of the seat. And then uh, second one, I'm not sure what they were doing to that child, but it was not having it. So, yep, still, uh, still don't want to have kids. Um, but I read my book and I was fine, you know. I, I honestly feel bad for parents that their kids won't <laughs> settle down. So you can't be too pissed because, you know, it happens. But we just got to the Airbnb. <sighs> Sad. I know I told you guys earlier I was supposed to meet my literal twin. But her freaking car broke down. So she could not make it to Louisville. I'm very sad. But we have, we will meet eventually. So it's just me and Whitney. And I figured I would give you guys a little tour of the Airbnb because it's so cute. So that's where we come in. You come up these stairs and then you can turn right and come over here 
to the first bedroom. Super cute. Oh, there's a mirror. It's me. Then you come over here and you got a little living area. Very cute. Little TV action. Okay. And then you come over here. This is where I was in the kitchen. Beautiful, right? Got this freaking nice countertop. That would make for some good Insta photos, you know, little overlay photos. You know, standard kitchen, beautiful. I love this like clean, simple, elegant look. But the best part is this freaking bathroom. Like what? Are we joke? Okay, first of all, this beautiful tub. So pretty. White, clean, I love that. Got this little marble sink. Look at the lighting. Like, um, hello? Do you see my contour fleeking? Okay, do you see, you see these guns? You see this spray tan? Mmm, killing it. Uh, you know, you got the toilet, normal stuff. Beautiful freaking shower. Like, wow. Okay, great. There's like laundry in there. And then there's a whole nother level. Oh, wit's coming down. So you go up here and there's actually two more bedrooms. So we got this one, standard. Got another mirror over there, beautiful. And then we got this one, which I'm going to be staying in. Same thing. Closets, good stuff. So, yes, we have a three bedroom queen bed, I might add. Airbnb in downtown Louisville. And we are going to use this wonderful lighting to get ready. Woohoo! So, you already know what's coming next, because I think I talked about it earlier. But stay tuned because yo girl is hungry, okay? Nothing can come as close as you when you hear the wind blows, but through this unstoppable storm, love remains, it drives me insane. I feel we got so far in the game now, everything's on fire. How to make it come again? Okay, so we're trying out three Pazookis here. This one is the triple chocolate made with Ghirardelli chocolate. This one is cookies and cream. And then this one is basically like birthday cake, confetti, funfetti. Yay. So I will do a little taste test for all of these. Thank you, ladies. Two chips. Oh my God. I just had the triple chocolate. This is heaven. This is literal heaven. We're gonna do the cookies and cream next. Oh my god. It's so good. I could cry. I could cry. It's so warm, but the ice cream is so cold and the flavors. Uh, the cookie is so doughy. Oh my god. Okay, last is the funfetti. Oh my god. It's so good. I have literal tears in my eyeballs right now. Alright, just know that BJ's Brewhouse Pazookis are worth the freaking hype. I will travel high and low, near and far for these bitches. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is now Saturday, July 28th. We had a quick stay in our Airbnb. You want to see it? It's cute. It's pretty cute. Right there, that white one. Anyway, feeling phenomenal after last night's free meal. Uh, woke up this morning, got ready, got stuff together, and now we are off to get some pre-workout noms. So, stay tuned.
We got so far in the game now. Everything's on fire. How to make it come again? We crush. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one of those cinnamon ones. Alright. As well as one of the Nutella specialties. Alright. And then let's build just a donut with peanut butter glaze. Maybe chocolate chips. Oreo, please. But I'm not, by no means am I going to eat all of that. I'm going to try as much as I can. <laughs> okay, so here I did a build your own with peanut butter glaze, mini chocolate chips, and Oreo. This is the Nutella specialty donut, and then this one has a cinnamon glaze with cinnamon sugar on top. Oh, yeah, and marshmallow floof. Whitney, killing it. I am by no means eating all of this. I'll take some of it home for later. I just wanted to try as much as I could, so... We're gonna do this thing. <laughs> okay, Nutella. Killing the game. There's nuts on top of it too. Beautiful. And these donuts are like thick, cakey, amazing. We're gonna do Oreo, the one I built with Oreo, peanut butter, chocolate chips next. Unreal. I'm a genius by combining peanut butter and Oreos. Just saying. Oh my god. Amazing. Alright, last one is the cinnamon glaze with marshmallow floof and cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna be like, yo, Nick, I'm gonna add a solid hour of cardio today, just so you know. <laughs> Oh my god. Definitely good. I think I ate them the way I ranked them. Nutella, number one. For sure. The one I built. Peanut butter Oreo chocolate chips. Number two. This one, it's not bad. It just ranks number three here. So if you are in the Louisville area, come to this place because it's freaking dank. Dude, I am so happy. I definitely did not eat all those donuts, but we're taking them home. We got the box ready, locked and loaded. So now it's time to freaking lift at KH Gym, which if you don't know what that is, that's Katie Hearn's gym. And today is the day that I get to meet my coach. I know, I'm excited, it's crazy. So we actually didn't know if he was gonna be available until like yesterday. There's a red light. And so this whole time I was like, all right, it's gonna be a game time decision. Like, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then things played out and I'm super pumped now. So that's where we're heading next and uh, we'll catch you there. Like a plane, does it such a scary place to be? We know we are for life, you see. There's nothing left to do, although no rainbow with Oh, I'm pumped. Without you, we're crashing like a plane. No, it's gone inside. If you hold inside, we crush it. Let it go now. Let that.
What's up friends? I am hopping on here to just say that I have the best coach in the whole world, but you know, we already knew that. But really, Nick is amazing, Brittany's amazing. I seriously like we vibed so hard, we train hard, I love it, I love them. Nick and I talked about future competition plans and I now have an idea of when I will be starting my next prep. I am so excited. I know I'm not gonna tell you here because it's so far away, but just stay tuned if you want to stay tuned even more. Head on over to my Instagram because I share a lot more over there. But I also wanted to come on here and talk about the freaking, I look like a floating head. My hair's dark, obviously, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Also, side note, the new makeup, if you watched my last Ulta haul, it, it held up nicely. I'm feeling dewy in a good way, you know? I just wanted to add that. It's a Stila Stay All Day foundation, if you're curious. But I wanted to come on here and talk about the law of attraction, because that's something that I fully believe in. Like, that shit is real. You put that shit out in the universe, it will come back to you. Like, like attracts like. So if you're thinking good things, good things are going to come to you. That's basically the law of attraction slash manifestation in a nutshell. And I just got to say, like, you got to also take a step back and realize when it's happening because it's super easy to overlook when it's happening. So for example, the most recent one that happened to me was I, I manifested like my whole dream life and I wrote out like I will be a guest on podcasts because like the, I would love to be a guest on podcasts. I shit you not that same week. It was like mm, last week or the week before. Um, this girl like posted in a Facebook group and was like, hey, I'm looking for um, guests to be on my podcast. Like comment on here if you're interested. And now I'm going to be on a podcast. And like if I didn't take a step back and realize, holy shit, that was manifestation, that was a law of attraction, that shit works, I would have just like not even realized, you know what I'm saying? So be cognizant of what is happening in your life, especially if it's something you want, um, no matter the time frame. Because the one I want to talk about now is I knew long before I ever competed, like years before I ever competed, that when I did decide to compete, I wanted Nick to be my coach. And I told myself, I was like, you know what, someday I'm going to be Nick Tong's client and we're going to train together in person and like we're going to meet up and it's going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about like me prepping and that is exactly what freaking happened today and like I can't tell you, I didn't even realize like how awesome that was until I took a step back and started thinking about it and was like, oh, I got to tell my people this, like you guys. And so like that's just dope as hell. If that is not, if that doesn't make you want to manifest what you want and like put the law of attraction into practice, I don't know what will because yo, that shit's real. And I'm here to tell you, you just got to take the plunge. It might seem stupid, but like nobody has to know what you write down. Nobody has to know what you dream about or think about or what you're manifesting. Like that's for you. And then when it happens, you can have a moment like this where you're like, holy shit, I did that. I manifested that. And like it happened. And honestly, if Nick or Brittany ever watches this, they're, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, Melissa, I'm going to feel really stupid. But you shouldn't feel stupid because like, you know, you get, I got what I wanted. Like, this is awesome. And like, it's so much more than that. You know, it's a great relationship. We have great mindsets and work ethics with bodybuilding and competing and everything. So I just want to come on here while I'm still on somewhat of an endorphin high and share my thoughts with you. So yeah, training at the Katie Hearn gym was amazing. I feel amazing, obviously. And yes, we are headed back to Whitney's home home now. Uh, she lives about an hour outside of Louisville. So we're going to head on that way. Uh, we got sushi on deck for tonight. We're going to take her puppers for a walk. I'm super excited. Hopefully they like me. So yes, stay tuned for what's to come and I will catch you in the next clip. All right, friends, I have officially made it back to Kansas City. I had a layover in Chicago again. Both my flights today were so turbulent that the uh, flight attendants had to stop serving, so that's always the best. Anyway, I'm freaking exhausted. I just went to Whole Foods and got a salad because I need some health in my life after this weekend, but I'm actually surprisingly hungry, um, even though I ate quite a bit this morning and like just throughout this weekend. So pro tip or fitness tip here, don't ever change your routine after a weekend of like going off your plan, which like it's not a big deal that I did, you know, cause I'm not on prep, <laughs> I'm not dieting. So I'm not saying like going off plan is a bad thing, but obviously my digestive system has kind of like been through the ringer the last couple days. So, um, you know, just get back to micronutrient dense foods, get back on your plan, get back to tracking, whatever. 
so I just wanted to add that in there but I am going to do kind of a quick Louisville recap because I did really well at vlogging the first portion of the trip and then the second half I just like filmed what we were doing but I didn't like talk so this clip there might be um, footage overlaying like when I'm talking about certain parts so some of this you're gonna be seeing my face some of it you're gonna see um, the clips that I filmed so the brief recap is Friday night I got in and we went to BJ's and got Pazookis which you should have already seen and then we stayed in our Airbnb which was really cute um, so we got up left the Airbnb went to High Five Donuts amazing you saw my review of that then we we went to Katie Hearn Gym met up with Nick and Brittany and trained and that was awesome seriously meeting my coach was phenomenal Brittany and I are spirit animals also like I just freaking love them both it's so like just good vibes man so then uh, my friend Whitney she actually lives in Jasper Indiana which is like an hour away from Louisville so then we went to Whitney's house and Saturday night we got sushi and froyo that was really good um I got a I can't remember what it was called but it had crab meat and tempura on there and like oh it was it was real good with like spicy or sriracha mayo or something like that I don't know there's a clip it's good um and then we got froyo which I haven't had in so so damn long but that's good and then Sunday we woke up and we trained at um, this guy, okay, so I'll put, I'll put the Instagram post that I posted about him, but his name is Glenn Bukeline. I'm not sure if that's, if I'm saying his last name correctly, but he holds, like, world records in powerlifting, or at least he used to. He's, like, amazing. <laughs> um, so we train in his basement. He, like, invites anybody there. Seriously, look him up. Like, if you don't know who I'm talking about, because I didn't know about him until I met him, um, and then I did some research on him, and I was like, shit, like, it's a huge deal to like train with him so I got um he like taught me how to bench because I literally know nothing and uh then he gave us a few exercises to try out that was awesome I didn't film on this I filmed on my phone um just because I didn't it was in his basement and I didn't want to be like filming his house and there were like other kids there training too so that was awesome he was amazing he's also certified in pressure point activation so he showed us a bunch of like release techniques that are like no joke he didn't do it on me but I know like pressure point real pressure point activation hurts really badly so we talked to him for like an hour an hour at least an hour and a half afterwards so it was really cool to just like vibe with him he's all about like holistic healing and like the woo woo stuff like I just he was awesome and then we went to brunch or breakfast I guess um at a place in uh Jasper and they I can't, it's called brew that's what it's called I can't remember if I have a clip of that or not but I had fr a french toast sandwich that had peanut butter banana in it and bacon so you know my digestive system when I said it was put through the ringer it was put through the ringer this weekend then we went home we chilled for a bit showered went to a winery which there should be a clip of that we did a little tasting everything was so good and usually I'm like not that good at wineries I'm just like oh I, I don't know I just like want my Riesling and I'll call it good but everything was so good we got wine slushies we had crackers and cheese it was like so cute the weather was so nice and then what did we do after that oh we like we had to do a grocery trip but then we went home and Whitney's boyfriend made us the most amazing steaks I'm not shitting you it's probably the best steak I've ever had in my life including restaurant steaks like unreal he killed it and then we watched freaking master chef or some cooking show for like hours like we were all just like so happy on steak and like watching master chef and then uh whitney's boyfriend also made creme brulee so like later we had some creme brulee he killed it man he's an amazing cook and they are so warm and welcoming and like my heart is just so full i'm just, i told them like thank you so so much for letting me stay with you and just like entertain entertaining me and stuff so that was awesome and then this morning, Whitney and I got up. She made me a um, peanut butter cookie dough chocolate latte. I can't remember all the things. It, I had it on my Instagram story um, in my highlights. So go look at that if you want to see like another kind of recap of this trip on my Instagram page. But it was really good. And then we went to brunch at First Watch, which I love First Watch. And then I went to the airport and I flew home and then I just went to Whole Foods. And it just amazes me how people can be so nice at an airport, like at airports throughout the day, which is kind of counterintuitive. But everybody that I was around was nice. And then you get to Whole Foods and there are all these fucking dicks everywhere bitches all of them just judging me looking me up and down I'm like I 
have been traveling all day. I don't have time for you to be an asshole to me. It was just weird. Whole Foods, man, I can't. But anyway, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog now because I know if I don't do it while I'm thinking about it, I'll just I'll just forget. I won't. But I'm so looking forward to eating this freaking salad. I got stuff from the salad bar. And honestly, just going to sleep. Like, I, I'm going to end up unpacking, but like... I just want to get in that bed right now and crash. So overall, it was an amazing weekend. I'm so like fulfilled. That's basically like that just like encompasses all my feelings. So I'll leave it at that. I know this video is probably pretty long by now. So as always, sorry, I'm a little more mellow here at the end. It's just been a long day. Again, I wanted to close it out. So if you watched until now, I'm taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. As always, I appreciate you. If you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.